what I hope that the audience will hear is the essence of uh, what it is to have fun playing the clarinet. I, uh, when I first uh, met Jonathan, I uh, was joking, uh, saying, well, just try to make sure that, you know, I have been practicing long tone for, uh, for all of my life, so try to see if you can show that. You know, and sometimes it's uh, funny because it's like, beware what you wish for. <laughs> because what he did was he uh, wrote in the first movement and the last movement such incredibly beautiful melodies that are very long, they're, uh, very long phrases and require a great deal of breath control. And they are extremely uh, beautiful. But um, the thing that makes it uh, hard is that there's a great amount of build-up that he does, which I find that for me the biggest challenge is how to uh, pace myself because there's uh, so much beauty and how the build-up goes that it's very easy just to go a little too uh, too crazy and, and just uh, just put too much uh, of the emotion and the intensity too soon, and then you can definitely run out of gas. <laughs> yeah. So that is one of the things that actually is really interesting because it happens in so many little spots that it's a very beautiful arch uh, of a phrase and the orchestral buildup, etc. and it does happen uh, in a few places. So it is uh, really interesting. Um, for the audience, uh, I also... Uh, hope that they will find that there are some elements that are uh, that, that have some like uh, nice rhythms and uh, it's rhythmic and has a lot of articulation. So it's a very uh, uh, very good elements of uh, American music uh, with uh, uh, some uh, accents uh, and jagged uh, rhythms that, that make it a lot of fun. So it's uh, uh, very much into uh, some of the. Uh, rhythms have a, a little bit of this Latin uh, flair to it, and uh, talking to Jonathan, he's uh, always making fun of, me, uh, fun of me because when I I call him, hey, what do you think about this or that? Uh, just uh, testing out different articulation or making some kind of accent, etc. He uh, he always ah yes yes go for that, and I like it, and, and we're always like yes, I think that this is just really great. So we have been having so much fun, and he said yes yes, it's going to be called the Morales Concerto. Forget the clarinet, the Morales Concerto. So in a way, I. Feel find that uh, it's a great gift and a great deal of responsibility to try to um, bring these elements uh, forth. I find also that, um, that the music uh, is much more than what I thought. It's more, uh, more beautiful. The passage work is more challenging than that what I thought at the beginning is, oh, yes, yes, yes. And because I, at the beginning, I got, you know, three or four pages of uh, some passage work that was challenging, but then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it's 12 pages, <laughs> it's not three pages. So all of a sudden, it, it, it became a different kind of challenge. <laughs> so, but uh, in a way, it's, it has been just a great deal of fun. And, um, you know, just how, how we start working on different little spots, it, it can be overwhelming at the beginning. It's like, oh my God, I still have like this uh, uh, several pages that I really have no idea how I'm going to uh, build it up. And but uh, well, it has been uh, one of these uh, great uh, moments of growth, uh, musical growth and technical growth, to be able to uh, bring the things to the forefront. So I'm really hoping that uh, the audience will be able to enjoy the beauty and the fun. Go to the concert, you're not going to miss the best concerto that's being written in the 21st century. So go for it. Ha, 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 ha.